Hi, this is Katya. Welcome to Rugrats, a show where I talk about all the things I wish I would have done differently in my life, especially on RuPaul's Drag Race season six, seven, eight. For this week's challenge, we have to create a musical parody video. We are given one of RuPaul's award-winning songs. So I, okay, here's the thing. I am good, I am a good person. <laughs> I am a good, I'm, let me tell you about my life. Let me tell you about, if my life were in a folder, there are a lot of pages, and at the, there are a lot of pages with a lot of good things, like, let me tell you about my talents. I'm a, I'm a good looking woman. Mm -hmm. I am, um, my Achilles heel is singing. I cannot sing. I have no interest in singing. I don't ever want to sing. So this challenge was a little bit of a, challenge for me. <laughs> it's not a competition. It, it is a competition. This challenge involved learning a song, rewriting the lyrics, going and recording the song in the studio, lip syncing to those lyrics while we came up with the concept for the video, made choreography for the video, got into drag in costume, and then went and shot the music video. Trixie came up with the idea to do Tan With You, a parody of dance with you. We didn't have any other ideas, so we're like, okay, we're going with that. I think it's wise to tan, because when you are in a tanning booth, the, the chemicals and the re radiation release like hidden pockets of knowledge in your body. It's tough because as you grow older, and I'm getting older, <laughs> I mean, we're all getting older. <laughs> you have bits of the brain become sort of dislodged and they float down your body towards your pelvis and they just become unusable. So when you tan, especially in a tanning booth, those bits of the brain become revitalized and you get smarter. So go ahead with, so don't, don't stop tanning. She was a wonderful woman and she wore a, a one piece bathing suit and her large brown pendulous breasts hung down to her belly button and she would say things like, hey Gloria. You could tell that, that her body had, you know, released a lot of hidden intelligence. The fact that Trixie went home in this episode made me so sad and angry. I don't think Trixie should have gone home. She's my favorite person in the competition at this point. I regret the fact that RuPaul doesn't regret the fact that she sent Trixie home. She told me she doesn't regret it. She leaned into my ear, licked it, and then she said, I don't regret anything. So this week I am best in group, which is also like best in show. I am a dog woman who barks at the moon while sniffing my own anus after shitting out worms. Stay tuned for next week where you never know what's gonna happen on RuPaul's Drag Race or in my personal life. Thank you, and good night. Or is it bad night? <laughs> Who likes Oprah? <laughs>